This is that one. I hello there. I know I'm not as weird of an intro as usual, but trust me, the video will make up for that. And also, I spoke too soon about the weird intro, but I'm going to be attempting the jaw-dropping look of the baby mole rat. Now, this baby mole rat look made me think, what is beauty, really? So I'm going to attempt to do this epic look in a really short amount of time. So we're going to jump right in, children. And our first color we're going to be using is from this MAC palette right here. Little blush pink. We're going to go on top of the eye just like so. I'm going to get a bigger brush because we need more coverage peeps. Instead of foundation or concealer or really anything, I'm going to just go round and round the eye, especially my under eye area. That's just going to be covered up by this pink. Next, I'm going to throw in a little bit of this peach color more on the bottom part and side and just do the same for the other eye. And we're looking good so far. So next, we're going to go on to a different palette. We're going to take the Heaven from the Day portion of the Too Faced Natural palette and just pop that on above the eyebrow. On second thought, you know, it doesn't matter if makeup from the other part gets on this because we're just going to be basically using this as our powder. If you're not pale, this might not work as effectively as it otherwise would with a person such as moi. And we're also going to be using the Lace Teddy from the classic portion of this palette. It's going to give that nice little hop on our cheek. And this is going to be our blush. And last but not least, we're going to be using literally every palette I own. This other MAC palette, you can't tell it like MAC palette. And this was a custom fill palette. For this, we're going to try to put it in random places around our face, just like pop, pop, pop. We want to make it look very speckled, though, make it look like there's polka dots on our skull. All right. Next, we're going to be taking the glitter iridescent lip gloss and just spread that across our lips like so. Next, we are going to be taking our eyeliner, children, and we're going to put it right here and right here. And next, we're just going to be taking a smaller brush such as this and applying this white from the original palette that we used. What does this look missing? Oh wait, some contour. <laughs> we're going to use this MAC blush and just make our cheekbones look a little bit more defined. And of course, we can't forget the hairline. Put some right here. We're going to be professional and we're going to put some concealer on our little brush to really add definition we were needing. It's definitely helpful for a proper contour, if that's what it's even called. Who am I kidding? I know what I'm talking about. I'm the expert here. We're going to put a little bit of blush along the forehead and just blend that in with our finger this time. And last but not least, we are going to try to hide our little eyebrows. And then we're just going to go back in with the blush to see if we can make our eyebrows pink. So this is the end result. It really was an epic look. I know I say it a lot, but I'm actually very, very proud of this. I mean, the way I really captured the baby mole rat, it's never been done before. And I just feel so amazed at what talent that I truly possess. I didn't know that I had this much talent. Like this much talent. Look at this right here. Look at it. It's amazing. Period. Okay. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did try it at home, maybe you'll look as stunning as I do right now. Who knows? But anywho, I will see you in my next video. But until then, bye!